Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to factor um, this binomial. And to do that, we're going to look into difference of two squares. Um, but before I even get to difference of two squares, one of the major important things I want to do is look for you know, greatest common factors that I can factor out, right? And I automatically know that when my variables, I have an x squared and a y squared, those are not common to each other um, or common between each other. So therefore, I can't factor any variables out. However, negative 3 and 48, I want to see, is there common factors for that? Well, the, com the factors for 3, or negative 3, you know, are going to be 1 and 3, positive, negative. Um, but for 48, we want to see, well, is 3 one of those factors for 48? Because if so, then it's the greatest common factor for both. And yes, 3 does divide into uh, 48 16 times. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and factor out a negative 3. So when I factor out a negative 3, I'm left with x squared plus, I'm sorry, minus 16y squared. The reason why that's a negative 16y squared is because, remember, that's positive. When you're factoring out, think of it as like dividing out that number from 48. So 48 divided by negative 3 gives you negative 16. OK, so now to factor this using difference of two squares, um, I think it's we're going to kind of forget about that we factored out the negative 3. It's still going to be there. It's a part of our solution. Um, but we want to see, can we write this as a product you know, further down? So we need to know what a squared minus b squared. That is when we have a difference of two squares, a squared term minus another squared term. Well, when we have that, we, have, um, we can write it as a product of a plus b times a minus b. So I go ahead and look at this. Um, look at my binomial here, and I see, yeah, well, you know what? I can write this as there, where I can say that a squared, it would be x squared, and b squared is equal to 16y squared. Now, is x squared a squared term? Of course it is, right? The squared terms means you can take the square root, and you'll have a, an even, um, even value, which would just be x. And a 16y squared a squared term? Of course, because you can take the square root of 16, which is 4, and the square root of y, which is um, square root of y, which is square root of y, which is y squared, which is just y. So therefore, now we know what a and b are. I can just kind of plug them into the formula to write this out. Now remember, we still factor out the negative 3. But now it is x plus 4y times x minus 4y. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine your difference of two squares. Thanks.